Okay, the following three theorems are ones to look out for in the circles unit. The first one is that if you have in the same circle, or two congruent circles, two minor arcs that are congruent, they will only be congruent if and only if the chords that form them are congruent to each other. So as you see, AB, chord AB is congruent to BC, so they form arc AB, which would be congruent to arc CB. Okay, the next theorem is that if a diameter of a circle, so here, or even if it's the radius of the circle, is perpendicular to a given chord, then it cuts the chord into two congruent parts. So it bisects the chord, making ED congruent to EF. And then basically the next one is a converse of what we just talked about. If one chord, if we know that this is a perpendicular bisector of another chord, so if this chord JK is a perpendicular bisector of ML, then that means that JK is the diameter. Okay, so for the first example, the theorem above says that if the two chords in a circle are congruent, then the two arcs, arc BC, would be congruent to arc BD. So the two chords that form the two congruent arcs would be congruent. So we would just set 3x plus 11 equal to 2x plus 48. I'm going to go ahead and uh, subtract 2x from both sides. Then I get x plus 11 equals 48. And then I would subtract 11 from both sides. So I get that x is 37. I'm going to substitute this back in to my original expression to find the measure of arc BC. And it doesn't matter which one you substitute it back in for because they should be congruent. And that's how we can check to see if we did it right. So 2 times 37 plus 48 is 122. And if I do 3 times 37 plus 11, I also get 122. So the measure of arc BC is 122. Okay, and this last theorem is that in the circle or congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the radius. And the word equidistant just means that they are perpendicular from the radius. So because these are both perpendicular from the radius, that means that CD is congruent to AB, which also means that arc CD is congruent to arc AB. So in the first example, here we have equidistant chords says that AB is 12, DE is also 12, and CE is 7. CE would be a radius because C is the middle and E is an endpoint and the definition of a radius is that it starts from the middle to the endpoint of a circle. So CE is 7. So if DE, not arc DE, but this core DE is 12, then that means it is cut in half, so it is 6 here. And if we want to find CG, it's going to be the same as CF. So what we've created here is a right triangle where we have x, 7, and 6. So we take x squared plus 6 squared, and that equals our hypotenuse squared. So x squared plus 36 equals 49. 
and I would subtract 36 from both sides of my equation. So I get x squared equals 13. So x would be the square root of 13, which is 3.6. So that means that this length here is 3.6, which is the same as this length here, cg. Okay, so I'd like for you to pause the video and try the next example on your own. Okay, so the measure or the length of CG is going to be 15. 